we are parked at uh, Evergreen Coho Escapee RV Park in Chimicum, Washington. It's on the Olympic Peninsula. We are almost to the very northern part of it, only six miles from Port Townsend, Washington, which has been voted one of the most beautiful places to live. And it is a gorgeous day. We have a beautiful spot here, which we're going to show you. And all the spots are just as beautiful. They're all huge. You come with a nice um, shed and it's very beautifully maintained here. The sites are all on gravel and concrete, so you don't get any mud. And the streets are wide, nicely paved. They're all 50 amp and the water is good here. Uh, the sewers have recently been redone. Uh, we're real happy with the uh, infrastructure of this park. So, we're going to show you the park. This is the uh, street we're on, and this is actually our lot. You can see that uh, there's plenty of room. We, we're only taking up about half of the lot. Uh, here's our infrastructure, the um, electrical, the water, and then uh, the septic. And we have a run a second line so we could run a uh, electric heater and uh, separate from our house circuitry. Here's a nice uh, uh, cement pad that becomes our patio. By the way, just if you didn't remember, we're Phil and Bra Sherry Brower. Happy campers. Anyway, this is the pad. And there's a little outbuilding. Uh, that actually belongs to the leaseholder. We're just renting while they're away. But this is similar to a lot we hope to end up with. And those uh, uh, little uh, sheds vary in size and decor. So I'm gonna turn here now. Uh, you can see that everyone is kind of slow fence separating one from another. The gravel is fairly new and it's real adequate.
sign. We are going to the laundry to sign up, which is the only place we've seen this system. You sign up for the time that you're going to bring your laundry in, and you put down how many machines you need. And so you're required to be there at that time. If you're late, you have to come another time because people are counting on you to be done with your washing machine at a certain time. It really works out well. I've never seen anybody uh, not have any time to do their laundry. This is the front door of the escapees clubhouse here. So I'm looking for a time when I can wash my clothes. And it's closed for cleaning from 12 to 3. So that means you can't start till four and they're pretty much filled up. So you go to the second. Okay. As long as somebody's not using all of the machines. Yeah, I want, I figured I need five machines. Is there a total of nine? Let's see. I need four regular and one utility. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Just right. That's only eight. This young lady is selling tickets to Oktoberfest, and I am going to partake, and I'll see if I can't talk Sherry into it. <gasps> this is one of Sherry's favorite stops here. Free popcorn.
Well, Good for you. Thank you. A lot of people that are thinking they can make it one more winter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get chicken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, I agree. I bet you get in this winter. Mm. I noticed a lot of people leaving this morning. Yeah. It yeah. was 33 on my thermometer this morning. Yeah, it was uh, 34 here. Yeah. Oh, this is unusual. Yeah, There's it is. Yeah, we. So. I'm actually from Washington State, actually Washington, Idaho, and. Yeah, for over here, that that and first of October, that's pretty chilly. Yeah, it is. So, you've been coming here a long time, or? Uh, no, we've all we've been uh, RVing right now for. Oh, this is the start three of our fourth years. year. Yeah, three, three and a half years. years. So, we're gonna just kind of take where we uh, summer and change that from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, to here, because yeah. I love this area. Cause there's so much to do over here. Oh, there is. So many unique things. And you're close to the coast. And yeah. And I like fishing and crabbing and stuff, so. You're in the right place. Yes. Well, thank you. We're going to move on. Don't do any refurbishments. No. <laughs> well, I, I did an old car. Help us. <laughs> I, I did an old car. I had it for 27 years. It took me to finally finish it. So I know what that's about. <laughs> All right. We'll see, see you later. later. Thank you.